Poly and monocrystalline silicon are the most common and well-researched material structures used for PV cells and account for 93% of the global market. Solar cells are essentially large area PN junctions. When light shines on the cell, electron hole pairs are generated throughout the material. Electron hole pairs will be generated in the solar cell provided that the incident photon has an energy greater than that of the band gap. Because of their built-in electric field, the electrons are attracted toward the positive charge on the n-type material side, where they become majority carried. The high conductivity of electrons in the heavily endoped region means electrons readily flow out the end side to a conductive contact and onto an external circuit. To provide significant power output, solar cells are typically grouped into modules. Using the same method, modules can be grouped into arrays, which are more typical for utility scale solar farms. Solar panels are made using the following process. Silicon is refined into large ingots. These are cut into smaller blocks, which are then sliced into wafers after cleaning. Diffusion takes place using phosphorus to form an n-type dopant layer on a p-type silicon wafer. Screen printing is used to form metal contacts on the wafer that are wired in, thus forming the solar cell. These cells are arrayed and sandwiched between strength and glass, encapsulating resin and protective film. An aluminium frame is used to form the final solar panel module, which can then be arranged into PV arrays. Silicon PV solar cells were invented by Bell Laboratories in 1954. Initially, they were primarily used as a power supply mechanism for space vehicles. Only in the last 20 years has their use been adapted for commercial utility-scale power generation. Since the start of the millennium, large-scale solar PV has experienced exponential growth. Its market share of electricity production has gone from negligible to 1.3%. The rapid uptake has been driven by investment in the sector as countries look to transition towards renewable energy sources to mitigate risks associated with climate change. The investment has driven rapid declining costs with the price per watt of crystalline silicon modules falling by a factor of 10 since 2006. Despite phenomenal growth in the industry, the technology has its limitations. The major one is that photovoltaic panels need to be exposed to light in order to generate electricity, and as such, their output is variable. PV cells also have physical efficiency limitations, with losses arising from unabsorbed photons, thermalization, and recombination. The average commercial efficiency for crystalline silicon is 17%, with maximum operating efficiencies of around 21%. The popular silicon-based PV technology is yet to be developed to provide a better energy conversion efficiency to fit the growing energy demand. A recent solution has been discovered and it is perovskite. Perovskite material is the future of PV technology given its special atomic structure which allows a much wider absorption spectrum, faster charge separation, and longer career distance and career separation lifetime. So PV technology will adapt into perovskite-based structures which will surely satisfy the current need of a better clean energy solution.